So I'm laying on the couch watching some fish tube, trying to stay awake. You know, fish tube's very relaxing, and all of a sudden the phone rings. My goodness, it's Higer calling. Well, what could they possibly want? So I wake up and reach over and grab the phone. Higer on the other end asks me if I know what my aquarium temperature is. I'm like, I don't know. Let's go check. It appears I'm sitting at 70 and a half degrees. Okay, none of that really happened. I don't have Higer's number, they don't have my phone number, but they did reach out and they wanted to see if I'd be willing to test their uh, digital LCD thermometer. And I said, sure, send one over. They go, well, we have two sizes, which one do you want? I said, both, because if I'm gonna show the viewers what the thermometers look like, we need to see the difference between the large one and the small one. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these bad boys open and let's take a look at them. All right, it should be fairly evident that these are 100% sponsored by Higer. They were sent out at no cost to me for review, so I wanted to get that disclaimer out of the way. Let's start with the large one here. They're packed pretty well. You got your user manual, which, uh, well, I might actually need to reference. Looks like either the battery or an extra battery and the thermometer itself here. So it has a dark blue cover here. You've got your uh, temperature sensor, which is on a spring on the back here. And then of course some uh, 3M tape, which is good. It's an extra battery. There's already a battery in there. So talk about longevity of service life. Uh, you've got an extra battery. I don't think the thermometer is gonna take that much juice. At first glance, you're gonna get years of use out of it. All right, so there is the large one for reference. Let's see the small one. Also comes with another battery, but do note the large one has a larger battery. Maybe same service life, or uh, you might get shorter service life with the small one, but it is definitely slimmer and more streamlined. Breaking out the handy dandy tape measure, the larger one measures just at three inches or seven and a half centimeters. That's the width, just over three inches tall or eight centimeters tall. It's thickness at its thickest point, one and a half centimeters or uh, about half an inch. The small one, two and a half inches wide or six and a half centimeters, uh, about two and a quarter inches tall or five and a half centimeters, about a third of an inch thick or, uh, I don't know, just over one centimeter. So looking at them initially, I think the smaller one is obviously more streamlined but let's get them powered on and see if my old eyes can read the small one. I'm going to imagine that just pull this little clear tab out from under the battery and activate it. It does. Look at how smart I am. Oh, it's touch screen too. Look at that. All right, I got to get the instructions. All right, it says push the set button for five seconds to get to your set high limit. Uh-huh, there, just didn't hold it long enough. So let's see, where do I want my set high limit to be? We'll say 78 degrees. If my water goes over 78 Fahrenheit, tap, that should take us to set low. Yeah, we'll say 68 degrees, that sounds good. So you see it's flashing here. I'm going to assume that it's flashing to let me know it's over 78 degrees because I don't have it attached to the tank. Now there's no alarm audibly, so it's gonna be a visual indicator and confirming with the instructions, it says that the temp screen will flash uh, if the temp exceeds its high or its low set limit. And finally, in reference to the instructions for our battery question here, recommended replacement half a year. So it looks like you're gonna get one year's total battery life out of the product with your backup batteries that come included. Let's do the little one real quick just to make sure that it's functioning properly. If I can get the battery to stay in there. All right, there we go. Okay, after referring to the instruction, the small one does differ quite substantially from the larger one. There's a little button on the side here, a tiny button right there, and that will just switch you if you tap it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. And this low and high is a 24 hour minimum and maximum. So it just saves every 24 hours, the lowest temperature and the highest temperature that it has recorded, just to let you know what your daily fluctuation range is, but no alarm on the small one. 
If you want to manually set your alarm for low and high, then you'll need the larger one. If you just want to monitor your low and your high, the smaller one will work. So let's get them on some tanks and see what they look like. Here's my 75 gallon aquarium in the bedroom. And while it would uh, be okay to have it on the front, especially if you need that alert to be flashing, I'm gonna go a little more uh, covert and I'm gonna put it on the side of the aquarium over here. Now I have the light off in the room, so it may be a little dim for your video, but uh, well, you don't really need to see how it sticks on there. I'm sure you know double-sided tape. So I've stuck it on the corner of the aquarium here on the side. That way I can peek around and quickly see what the temperature is. It adjusted pretty quickly. We'll see how accurate it is against my laser gun that you saw in the beginning of the video. I have traditionally been using this uh, uh, laser temperature gun here to read my tanks and I can run around the house and uh, check all the temperatures, but it can be kind of a hassle. So having a thermometer on the aquarium where I can just walk by and take a look at it real quick will remind me to be checking my temperatures here so old Billy Bass doesn't get too cold or too hot. And the reason that I put it on the side of the aquarium is because you can't see it from the front. Obviously, the mere reflection from an aquarium on the inside panels uh, makes it so that you can't see the thermometer. So the temperature is coming down. Let's give it some time to acclimate here, and then we will compare it to the temp gun. And the smaller one here, I'm going to put on the 40-gallon grow-out tank just because I want to see what the temperature difference is on each end of my house. We'll come right over here and stick it in the back corner. So once again, I'm going to acclimate this, compare it to the temp gun. All right, let's see how it stacks up here against the temperature gun. Ooh, 73.8 on the Heiger thermometer, 69.8 roughly on the temp gun. Hmm, let's check the other one. All right, the other thermometer shows 73.6, so that's in line with the thermometer on the 75 gallon. And again, my temp gun shows about 70, 69. So now I've got to wonder, is my temp gun wrong? Or are both the Heiger thermometers wrong? Now, since both of the Heiger thermometers were reading 73 degrees, my inkling is that my little temp gun here, which was cheap, let's be honest, uh, it doesn't read properly. So scientifically, we need to introduce another thermometer as an outside variable to figure out which one of these is correct. Again, I'm leaning towards Heiger and not just because they sponsor the product. You have two thermometers reading the same and one thermometer reading different. You gotta go with the two majority. I remember that I have a TDS meter that does temperature, so let's go check that. All right, here we go. TDS meter to Fahrenheit. Taking it a while to come up to temp here, but we're at 73 degrees, 73.4. 73.5, 73.9, waving it around, 73.9. All right, 73.9. So, and as I come back over here, the Heiger is now clicked up to 73.9. This is the large one on the 75 gallon right here. So you see I'm not lying. Look, there's my um, tripod where I just did the filming. And back into the 40 gallon grow out tank here, 73.8 still. The proof is in the pudding there, guys. I've been using this for a year now, and it's been three degrees off. There you go. Big thanks to Heiger for sending the thermometers because I just found out that uh, I was reading the wrong temperatures. I know it's a thermometer review. I mean, how much can we really discuss a thermometer, right? But maybe uh, I've instilled some trust in the Heiger brand for you there because you saw the evidence. Okay, it's been a couple of weeks since I installed both the thermometers, the large and the small one here, and this is the takeaway I got for you. So to be honest, I thought the outro of this video was gonna be pretty much, if you need one, get one type of thing. But I've used these thermometers a lot more than I thought I would. It is very handy to be able to just walk by the aquarium, check and see what the temperature is. I live in an area where we're moving into winter and the temperature in my house will fluctuate from overnight where we like to sleep and during the daytime, it gets still really hot, so the temperature in the house can go up. 
And just monitoring the temp in the tank if you have more sensitive fish, I think is a good thing. And I didn't do it before I had these thermometers. The 3M tape that they put on here holds fantastic. Now it hasn't been like six months or anything, so I can't tell you if they're gonna fall off. I'll do an update video if they do, but it doesn't feel like they're coming off the tank. So make sure that you know where you wanna put it because you're not gonna get it off without a razor blade, of course, or something. So if they're stuck on the tank so well, how are you gonna change the battery? Well, Hager thought of that because I looked at some competition and they have the battery cover on the back of some of these other thermometers. Hager has that little slide cover on the front right there. So you just pop the little slide cover down as you saw in the video, put your new battery in, slide it back up. You never have to remove it from the aquarium. And finally, if I had to pick one for you, it would probably be the small one. Let me tell you why. The large one's great if you need that alert, you know, where it's just gonna flash to tell you that the temperature is either over or under what you set, but there's no audible alarm for it. So how am I really gonna know unless I just happen to walk by the tank? Let's say you have a heater that breaks, right? And that heater gets stuck on or something like that. There's no audible warning. So Higer, you may wanna add an audible warning if that's even possible on the next version of your thermometer. I think that would be more beneficial than just the flashing. However, I would run all the smaller ones. One, I think that it is a, um, a slimmer line kind of approach. It's a little more discreet. Uh, but the feature that I use more is the locking of the 24 hour low temp, well for you, low temp and high temp as you read it on the thermometer. That was more useful to me, more interesting to see over 24 hours, how cold did the tank get at night? How warm did it get in the daytime? So I would get the smaller ones. They're a little bit cheaper. And if you really need the flashing alert and you want the bigger display for the large, you can go for the large. But at any rate, there's the takeaway. I hope you enjoyed the review. There is a link in the description. If you want either the large or the small, it's probably just one link to Amazon. I think you select the size, but either way, there's gonna be links down on the bottom if you'd like to pick up one of these. So thanks for watching the video. If you like this kind of aquarium review stuff, I try and do a lot on the channel. So you know what little buttons to click down there. All right, I'll catch you guys on the next review.